And in more breaking news coming in, Prime Minister Modi has praised Manohar Parikar's speech in the parliament. PM Modi says yesterday's speech by Defence Minister in the Rajya Sabha was one of the best speeches displaying best parliamentary traditions. Defence Minister rose above politics and placed all relevant facts on the table uh, as mentioned in this tweet by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Okay, so high praise uh, coming from none other than the Prime Minister himself for Defence Minister Manohar Parikar. He believes that the Defence Minister pitched himself very well following uh, the high parliamentary traditions and uh, uh, putting facts on the table. PM Modi, in fact, uh, goes on to say that his was one of the best speeches in the history of Rajya Sabha, considering that he uh, just uh, remained within facts without stooping low. Uh, in any way. Now, that is perhaps uh, the, the underlying message there. Uh, let me go across to Abhishek Kapoor uh, for more information on this. Yes, Abhishek, uh, Prime Minister has spoken out at least on this, but only to the extent of praising uh, the Defence Minister. Perhaps uh, there is something more uh, that, that could have been said as well on his position in this matter? Well, you see, what the Prime Minister is trying to underscore is the fact that uh, all participants of the BJP uh, really uh, pulled punches in the sense that maintained the decorum by not taking names and uh, uh, stuck to facts. Uh, yes. And uh, uh, that was also the case in the uh, uh, Defence Minister Manohar Parikar when he uh, read from the papers and uh, uh, gave out the bare-bone facts uh, without any element of speculation, despite mm. perhaps there could have been temptation uh, to take a political line and to hit at the opposition Congress. Uh, uh, you have to see this in the light of uh, Congress also criticizing Defense Minister's speech yesterday as uh, being uh, uh, a written, pre-written speech, uh, which essentially meant that the Defense Minister was not responding to all the participants of the debate, but had come with a predetermined mind as to what he wanted to present. Uh, and that Correct. is why the Prime Minister is essentially underscoring the fact that uh, all the speeches, particularly that of uh, the Defence Minister, is stuck to parliamentary decorum, did not take names, uh, and uh, more significantly, underscored the commitment of the government to really bring the guilty to book uh, without any speculation, even as investigation is on.